I was even, I was so upset, I was even thinking about doing a video just explaining everything, but I hate to be a rapper, I hate to be one of those guys who's like, hey, look, this is what it's all about, you know what I'm saying? So I'll do it for you guys, let's break, let's break it down, let's break it down line by line, ready? <laughs> That's what we're gonna do, that's what we're gonna do, because I can do whatever I want. Ray Ray in the house, Ray Ray, was good, girl, was good, girl, Ray Ray. We're gonna do a song dedicated to Ray Ray later, okay? So yeah, let's break this down. Let's break this down. Forever remix. Here we go. <clears throat> it may not mean nothing to y'all. Okay. Okay. Who got a flow sicker than cannabis if he was cancerous? You see, cannabis is an older battle rapper. Cannabis is an old battle rapper who used to freaking battle LL Cool J and stuff. Who got a flow sicker than cannabis if he was cancerous? So if cannabis had cancer, whose flow is sicker? Mine's, because you know, when you have cancer, you're sick. Okay, next line. <laughs> Okay, kind of self-explanatory. Granny gets her panties wet, seducing your mom till the family splits. Okay. Okay. I'm on a mission to take each girl. Rider strong, I've been savage like boy meets world. Now, a popular show in the early 90s was Boy Meets World. And... The thing is, the star of that show, Ben Savage, the star, Corey's real name was Ben Savage, and, check this out, yeah, not early 90s, late 90s, and the thing is, his best friend, who was played by, who, who his name was Sean, his real name was Ryder Strong. Ryder Strong and Ben Savage were their names. So, ride her strong, I've been savage, like boy meets world. Okay? Okay, now. On to the next one. I'm saying, nobody gets it. it, it all this shit went over people's heads, man. So I got, like, lame reaction. On the on the comments, everyone's like, meh. Nah. You know? All right, anyways, let's go. Jump on it like a pat cheese. I'm screaming out Geronimo. Jump on it like a pat cheese. I'm screaming out Geronimo. Now, stay with me here, people. Stay with me here. Jump on it is the name of that Sugar Hill, Sugar Hill Gang song. You know, the, um... The, this song, boom, 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 jump, uh, uh, jump on it, jump on it. Okay, that song is called Apache. Okay, jump on it like Apaches. I'm screaming out Geronimo. Geronimo is an Apache chief who, when he, who, who, when like, when they would attack, he would scream his name, Geronimo, and that's also what soldiers used to scream when they jumped out of planes during the war. Jump on it like Apaches. I'm screaming out Geronimo. Okay. If you got bars, I'm shutting them down Guantanamo, okay? Because Obama was going to shut down Guantanamo Bay. In other words, a jail with bars. If you got bars, which are also rap lyrics. If you got bars, I'm shutting them down Guantanamo. Okay, next line. <laughs> Okay, to MCs, I'm E. You see, I'm U squared. To an MC, I'm E. I'm this guy squared. E equals MC squared. You see what I'm saying? An MC is a rapper. So I'm saying I'm U times 2. It takes 2 of you to equal me. E equals MC squared. I said to you, I'm E. E equals MC squared. Come on. Okay. Next line. Yes, Vince. I'm breaking down my lyrics because I feel like people were sleeping on my shit. Okay, I said my bars is too heavy. I don't need no muscle. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying my lyrics are so intense. But like, in other words, my bars are so heavy. I don't need no muscle. I put pride in my tracks. I ain't talking about Russell. D. Pride's real name is Russell. Okay. Okay. I'm too sick. My flu shot will give y'all dystonia. All right. Dystonia was what that girl caught when she took the swine flu shot. 
Yeah, yeah. And then she started walking backwards and crippled and shit. I'm saying I'm sicker than swine flu. I'm too sick. My flu shot will give y'all dystonia. Okay. Anyways. Next line. Almost done. That was not too hard, okay? I'm taking it back for the future like Marty McFly. Marty McFly was the character in Back to the Future. Okay. Tonight we gonna party like it's 2011 because the world's supposed to end in 2012 and Prince had that song, this, um, you know, um, party like it's 1999 because they thought the world was gonna end in the year 2000. Alright? What's up, Philip Chow? What's up, man? Keep him up the block! What's up, dog? I know! And that's the thing, man! And that's the thing! Okay, like... As, as a rapper, I feel like I, I shouldn't... I shouldn't have to explain myself because I feel like I'm doing it for those who get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it for the people who get it. If they get it, they'll appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, as somebody who is an egomaniac and needs my ego to be fed and, and just gets off on compliments and comments and shit, I really need, I like reading when people say, yeah, Tim killed that shit, you know? And then, but with, if I'm going over people's heads too much, it's like they don't get it. And I don't get a biggest reaction to somebody who says, like, some simple shit like, yeah, I'm, you know, um, like, if I was to say some shit like, yeah, I'm going over your head like jet planes, that's enough to make the average rap fan go, oh, shit, did you hear what he just said? But that's just so basic, you know? So, like, the question becomes, do I dumb down my lyrics with the, you know, with the, with the, you know, so, and, and make, get a guaranteed rap, um, you know, reaction, or do I keep on putting all this thought into that shit, and then, like, you know, and having half the people be like, oh, he, oh, whatever, he didn't really say anything, you know what I'm saying? You know? Like, just like Jay-Z said, he could be lyrically Talib Kweli, but he knows that he wouldn't sell records. You know what I'm saying? So he dumbs it down, and now he's hove, and now he's a freaking Freemason, and worshiping the devil and shit. 